Dear all, welcome back to ADUOX. Today, in this video session, we are going to see the differences between livability and sustainability. Sustainability Review of the literature The most commonly used sustainability definition was created by 1987 United Nations Brundtland World Commission on Environment and Development. The commission defines sustainability as being concerned about the accelerating deterioration of the human environment and natural resources and the consequences of the deteriorations for economic and social development. Many interpret this definition as meeting the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet theirs. It is also referred to as the triple bottom line concept because it includes considerations for the economy, the environment and social quality of life. Livability Based on the literature reviewed, livability emerged as a way to describe tactics that local governments and regional planning organizations use to achieve the kind of sustainability goals described by the Brundtland Commission. Livable communities are healthy, safe and walkable. Livable communities offer transportation choices that provide timely access to schools, jobs, services and basic needs. Livable communities are imbued with strength and vitality, features which emerges from preserving the unique characteristics that give our diverse communities a sense of place. How they differ? While conceptual overlap between livability and sustainability appeared throughout the literature, Several reports supported a discrete but complementary role for livability and sustainability. For example, the literature often positioned livability to support overall sustainability goals. Often, the literature described livability as a strategy for local community-focused actions. Littman concluded that livability addressed community-level economic development, public health, social equity and pollution exposure. Additionally, Rue and Rone concluded that livability may be less focused on large environmental goals and provide more specific and detailed strategies to improve transportation choices, accessibility, lower transportation and housing costs and coordinate federal policies and investments and support existing options on a neighborhood and community level. Further, Sanford concluded that Livability focused to a greater degree on the human or community experiences in a specific place rather than on the environmental impacts found in a triple bottom line approach. Conversely, research supported a high level strategic focus for sustainability similar to the World Commission on Environment and Development's definition of sustainability. Rue and Rone concluded that sustainability focuses on meeting the needs of the present while supporting the future generations. Unlike the community-specific goals found in many livability definitions, sustainability goals included improving water and air quality, reducing the climate impacts, decreasing greenhouse gas emissions, and increasing energy efficiency. Similarly, Sanford found that sustainability focuses on how to sustain human society without harming the natural environment. How they are similar? Despite research supporting a discrete relationship between livability and sustainability, many researchers continue to use the two concepts interchangeably. Often, researchers discuss livability principles as a way to support overall sustainability goals. The partnership reinforces the link between the livability and sustainability when they define a sustainable community, which is the result of their livability efforts as places that balance their economic and natural assets so that diverse needs of local residents can be met now and in the future. The incorporation of the triple bottom line as a goal of partnerships livability effort not only directly ties the two concepts but because of the partnerships outreach efforts it creates a national framework for future state and local efforts. Even though livability and sustainability may operate on different scales, both can achieve similar outcomes. Rue and Rone propose that both livability and sustainability support economic development and environmentally sustainable travel options and address social equity issues and human health. Additionally, 
The Project for Public Spaces argued that the creation of more livable spaces is linked to an increase in environmental benefits. In sum, implementing a green streets initiates that adds more street trees can increase the livability by making the street more inviting to pedestrians but also the sustainability of that street because of the environmental air quality and stormwater runoff benefits provided by the additional tree canopy in summary an examination of the organizations that incorporated livability into their strategic goals reveals that they often use sustainability and livability interdependently additionally sanford used livability principles as a way to carry out sustainability however it also appears that livability could support greater quality of life measures in addition to sustainability in summary livability appears to be a way that communities are executing their overarching public policy goals whether these goals includes sustainable quality of life or another goals despite the differences in how livability is defined either by local regional state or federal partners the literature review reveals that the livability and sustainability continues to suffer from conceptual overlap thank you